to another exciting episode. This will actually mark the end of our first season of Terrible 2 Minute Reviews. We're going to take a break for the summer, and then we'll be back with more terrible goodness this fall. Technically, it won't be a break because we're going to actually be working on retooling Steam Court to make it even more awesome. And we're also going to be working with some designers in the industry on a couple of projects that we're excited about. Not to mention, this Monday night, we'll be back at Due South for another one of our gaming nights, so come join us. And uh, if you want to keep up to date on all the stuff we're doing this summer, check out our website, tantrumhouse.com, or on Facebook, or Twitter, or Instagram, or all those places. Right now, though, let's jump into our next Terrible 2 Minute Review. Today we're going to review an unpublished game from Infectious Play Publishing. News at 11 is a 3-9 player cooperative party game which requires a lot of creativity and impromptu speaking. While we were up at Origins, we had the opportunity to meet John Gilmore, one of the designers of the game, and he walked us through how to play it. Uh, I haven't actually read the rules, so hopefully he taught us how to play correctly. <laughs> <laughs> the game seems nice and straightforward. Each player is dealt three cards, and they then go on to those cards and write down with a permanent marker one of two words. And they get to get feedback from the other players as to what those words are going to be. And that's the fun part, because as you're asking people, like, I need an adverb or I need an object or whatever, uh, you can take their suggestions and pick the best one, and then you write it down. Once you've written all three cards, then they all get shuffled back into the deck, and it gets turned over to the lead anchor. And that lead anchor then shuffles them into three different decks, and he uses one deck for the morning news. The anchor uh, then can place it in a setting if he wants to, and he just kind of takes over as the news guy. So he could be like, you know, I'm Will Shiny Smile, and thank you for joining us as we broadcast live from the International Space Station. He takes a card, uh, one of the segment cards, and then he hands it off to the next player and says, you know, now we're turning it over to Ryan Reporter Smith for a look at the weather. And then players have to use all the words on their card to make up their segment of the news. Uh, it gets pretty hilarious because as you're trying to combine these words and make a story from it, you might end up with stuff that fits perfectly for you know health and beauty, but you get handed the obituaries card. <laughs> After players are done using the one deck for the morning news, they add a second deck for the afternoon news, and then they have all three decks for the evening news. That means that you're having to combine six words together to tell a story. A lot of those words have been used in previous games, so you might be able to continue a storyline from before, which is pretty funny, or sometimes you just have to create something new because there's no way to fit it in. The game takes around 30 minutes to play, and it's a lot of fun. There aren't really any winners or losers, it's just a lot of great cooperative storytelling. All right, let's go ahead and rate it. Over to you, Mr. Reporter Smith, for a look at the mechanic. Well, I think our viewers will love the mechanic on this one, Will. It's perfectly simple in that only one player has to really know the rules, and he can just explain it as he goes. There's also a lot of structurability to it. I don't actually know what that word means, but it's there. And then there's flexibility if you want that, too. Tell us about the theme, Will. The theme for this game, I can't do it, is uh, is great. I think you can't really beat a storytelling platform like the news. So, I mean, the theme fits great. Uh, the art for the cards is not finished yet, so we'll see what those end up looking like. Uh, I do like that it's in a super compact, party-sized box. Hopefully that means the price tag will match that. Uh, I think this is going to be a lot of thematic greatness. <laughs> Replayability. Well, Will... About replayability, I personally am not a fan of legacy games where you're permanently marking up the game, but I know that you said your favorite part of Balderdash is that you go back and look at your old answers. I did. And you can definitely do that with this game. There's like 72 different cards to this game, so it's going to be a while before you go back and have to reuse those answers. And even when you do, you're going to be using different segments. You might be telling an obituary one time with a word and then be telling the weather another time. And then your producer might throw something out of the blue at you with a producer card. He'll, he might say an update on an earlier story or this is an interview. And that'll just put a whole wrench into what you were originally planning to say. Now let's talk about the enjoyability, Will. The enjoyability of this is so high that I can't contain that level of it. <laughs> When you're playing the game, I think one of the cool things is that you get handed these cards and you're supposed to write your word down. You don't even realize that there's another word on the card. So when you get handed that back and you see the word you wrote matched next to the word 
muffin or whatever, it just blows your mind. And then you've got to be quick on your toes, which is my kind of game. I enjoy that a lot. Uh, and you've got to be able to put those together, you know, with the segment that you're handed, put it in the context that you're handed. Uh, it just makes for a really enjoyable game. When we were talking to John uh, Gilmore, he was saying that he likes to create games that create, you know, a memorable experience. So it's not really about the mechanic or about the art, although I like those things. Uh, it's really about just creating something that's enjoyable that people can remember. And I think this game nails it. Tater Mouse gives News at 11 two thumbs, thumbs up. Bum, bum. Could you jump from a high dive into... I don't dive. No dive. Tiny pool. Okay, it's my life motto. Take two. I have to admit that I actually don't know how to read the rules <laughs> or the script. Today we're reviewing an unpopular. I was rubbing my nose. The... <coughs> <coughs> uh, I like the uh, just the other words that I like. How true that is, Will. <laughs> cooperative. Co cooperative. Cooperative. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry, do it right.